Welcome back. Hey. So you the guys probably never thought you'd see another ghost stream, right? It's been forever, hasn't it? Uh, so I guess this makes us either go day four or go day five. I don't remember. Um, but in any event, today marks the release of early access to a uh, new Steam game, Ancient Go. So the target demographic for this game is people, I think, who play on 9x9 boards, who are looking to learn the basics of Go, um, and just have some fun with it. Um, and just enjoy a beautiful game that runs on a Windows platform. Um, so, the target demographic for this game is basically me, and I don't know if anybody else is in the target demographic, but, you know, I just really appreciate that somebody has finally released an online game that can also teach some of the basics of how to play Go uh, for beginners. Now, granted, I have solved some life and death problems. I do understand some basic tactics, but that's about it. And um, if you've seen any of my previous Go streams or videos, uh, you will understand that, you know, my board vision, <laughs> it needs work. My ability to read what's going to happen next uh, it's practically non-existent unless somebody sets up the board and says, you know, in this one position, find the key idea. But you're not going to have that during a game. And so I purchased this. It was um, on sale. Not that that matters because it was modestly priced anyhow. And um, it wasn't that much of a sale and I am supporting the developer. Um, and that's what really matters. So, without further ado, let's go explore early access to Ancient Go. Alright, let's cover the basics. In Go, players take turns placing black or white stones on the intersections of the board. The goal is to surround enemy territory or the opponent's stones for points. Play ends when both players pass instead of placing a stone. Each position um, is worth one point. Oh, I'm sorry, each position in surrounded territory is worth a point. Place a stone to surround some territory. You surrounded eight points worth of territory. Territory is surrounded when it touches only the stones of your color or the edge of the board. Surround as much as possible in this position with a single stone. So the answer is this, which surrounds two spaces, which is worth two points. In addition to territory, you can score points by capturing the opponent's stones. Stones are captured if they are surrounded by enemy stones. The lines mark the positions needed to surround. Oh, okay. Interesting. Never thought of it that way, but you're correct. Stones that are next to friendly stones connect and form a group. So these two are a group now, and now the black stone there is saved. At least for now. If you surround a group, all the stones are captured. Each individual stone counts for one capture point. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you need to surround it uh, to actually capture. Although in a real game, you very well might want to place there to just... I'm sorry, yeah, you need to surround it adjacently. Um, surrounding it like that would probably be equally effective, and in fact, you don't have to place there immediately, because that group of three stones is doomed, but inevitably to capture it, you would need to place here. Stones against the edge of the board can also be captured. Haha! -ha. 
placing a stone into position that causes it or its group to die is called a suicide and is not permitted. Ancient Go shows these as red, so if I click here, it's not going to let me place the stone. Play a legal move to continue. That's legal for sure. The internal position shown here is allowed because it kills the white group, uh, so the black group is not surrounded. See? Since you cannot make two moves at once, white can never surround this black group. But do not fill in your own eyes, because like if black places a stone here, white can place a stone there, and this entire black group is dead. Uh, this is called Ko. Watch what happens when white captures your stone. And then you try to capture back, and it's like, no, nope, you can't do it. So, yeah, game forbids repetition. And now black can go there in the future. You can capture it on your next move as long as white does not connect the stones, say by placing here. Black places first and go. So black is considered uh, to have an advantage. Um, and therefore, usually the weaker player gets to play black, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. Black plays first, which is considered a strong advantage, but I thought they came up with a way to balance that called Komi. Anyhow, as a traditional sign of respect, the first move is normally on the far right, so the white player does not have to reach far in order to respond. Uh, the idea is you'd have a bowl of black stones over here, and white would have a bowl of white stones over here, and so you're placing on the side of the board closest to your uh, bowl of stones. And white's probably going to do the same. To make games fair and balance, um, black's first move, white... Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Interesting. Early moves near the corners of the board um, as they surround... Wait, early moves are normally near the corners of the board as it takes less stones to surround territory. But if you surround too much, you might get invaded. Scores will change by a large amount during the game, so ignore the score while playing. And think about how the board will look when play is over. Remember that you will learn more from a defeat than from a victory. You know the basics, um, and they will make sense after a few games to start playing. Alright. Ancient Go auto scores when playing matches, but understanding how points are counted will help you to improve. So yeah, obviously the things that are surrounded entirely by black are black's territory, things that are surrounded entirely by white are white's territory, and these contested points are not scored. How many points is this capture worth? It's worth one point. Uh, each enemy stone captured is worth a point, in addition to any territory gained uh, by the capture. So this scores three points immediately and will be worth three at the end of the game. So that's a six point swing. Be careful not to leave enemy stones in your. Oh! Right. Okay. So yeah, having captured the white stone scores a point, having placed the black stone costs you a point of territory, which is a net, um, not a gain, not a loss, it's just a push. Um, once no important places are left, playing a stone in your own territory costs you a point. Uh, so that's why you should pass. What if white plays in black's territory, then black passes? Uh, black had five... oh. Black had five points, uh, but now they're neutral. can easily capture the stone for one point, but it will cost three stones to capture it. Let me think about that one. Hmm. Black had five points of territory, 
It'll cost him three stones to capture the one. So is that actually a good idea for white to place there? That's really interesting. I never even thought about that. Black now has two territory points plus a capture point. So, um, white placed there, taking away five points from black. Uh, however, black recovered three of those points, which is a cost of two points. To balance black's territory loss here, passing means literally passing a capture stone uh, to the opponent. This makes the game fair, as there is no reward for playing stones that will die. Wait, I'm very confused by this. What does this mean in terms of scoring? Black now has two territory points plus a capture point. To balance Black's territory loss, passing means literally passing a capture stone to the opponent. So, um, oh, okay, I understand now. So each time white passes, he has to hand a stone to black. Um, and so the net result is that white should not invade. Um, because invading wouldn't lead to any profit. Because um, white would have to pass a stone or a capture stone uh, each turn. Each time black moves to surround the white stone. This makes the game fair as there is no reward for playing stones that will die. Got it. What if white didn't have to pass? To prevent point loss, black should fill in the neutral places before attacking white's stone. Interesting point. Knowing when you must defend and when you can ignore to fill neutral spots or launch your own attack is an important skill. Yeah, so this white stone has absolutely no chance of living. So black and white should fill in all the contested points, and then black can gang up and kill the white stone. I think under some scoring rules, that stone is just considered, that's just dead. There's no recovering that stone, but whatever. The rules were designed such that there's no scoring advantage to playing in any area if the stone will die. But there is no punishment either. If you think you can kill a group from the inside, then you should try to do it. See so yeah, if white thought, oh, I'm gonna play here, I'm gonna kill black's group somehow, white should go for it, there's no risk. Um, it's a waste of time. Or sorry, playing stones that you know will die is wasting time. But if you think you can make progress, go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, white gets seven and a half bonus points, called Comey, for playing second. This number was decided to be the fair amount by professionals after analyzing many games. And frankly, after playing many games. I mean, analyzing is one thing. Um, I'm sure by playing it you get a better feel than by analyzing. But what do I know? Um, it takes... and includes a half point, so there are no ties. I don't know that I actually care for that. I would actually like to see some kind of rule that does allow for ties, but whatever. Winner of a game has a higher total of territory plus captures plus pass captures. White always gets plus Comey. When a, game, when a match is over, you can press the details button to see the breakdown. Alrighty. Uh, we'll see if anybody's playing online. Uh, time per side. Well, uh, 
sure these are the default settings. Three minutes is probably fast, but it's a 9 by 9 board, so uh, let's say five. Okay. We're going to see if anybody's purchased this game and is playing early access. In which case, we'll have an opponent. If that's not the case, um, then yeah. Uh, or maybe I just have to pick three minute because that's the default. So oh, wait, no. Okay, see, so I see. Here's the menu. Um, interesting. So it counts the number of passes by the opponent. Counts the territory that's surrounded. Counts the number of captures. Um, and that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, look, we got an opponent. Good luck. Okay. I'm going to chase your stone, buddy. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing other than trying to create something that doesn't have tons of holes. Uh, I think this is a contentious move because it's kind of attacking, or at least moving toward both the white groups. I admit I'm split very severely here, um, so I would not be surprised if white decided to try to attack me. Um, okay. Uh. I want to play that, and on the other hand, I really don't. So I'm just going to surround this upper right corner. Um, maybe I'm going to also try to peek under here. So, I mean, it looks like I'm giving a lot of territory, and I probably am. Um, they say that this game, you, it's, you measure territory like you're cutting a pizza. And whoever ends up with the bigger half wins. So this stone, I think, is going to be surrounded by my guys. Uh, I think I'm not going to end up getting surrounded, so I think it's going to work out for me. Um, okay, so I attack both the top and the bottom groups with this move. Uh, really hoping to surround this triangle here. Triangles are supposed to be um, kind of sickly shapes in this game. And so you're supposed to try to avoid making them. We'll see how this goes, though. I'm expecting he's... Oh, he didn't play there. Okay. <sighs> so, this this is going to get interesting, for sure. Um, well, I guess I take this point. At which point, my guys are, like, all over the board. Um... I've probably not played this as accurately as possible. Um, I have to escape my group so it doesn't get completely surrounded. But he might end up surrounding the upper right corner. This could be bad news for me. Maybe I did have to cut here. I'm playing way too fast, by the way. Much too fast. Oh, it's my turn. Holy moly. Well... I'm going to keep cutting. Oh, crud. <laughs> okay, I'm losing the game. Wow, I did not think that was possible. Okay, good game. That was fun. Yeah, no, he's... My group in the middle got surrounded. Uh, I played too aggressively. Shame on me. All right, let's let's play a new game. Public game. Here we go. Maybe I should spend more time thinking and less time talking. 
at least now I know that five minutes is certainly enough to play the game. Um, maybe I should start by playing the center instead of doing the corner here. I don't know. Um, sure, I'm going to play the center this time. So I've kind of staked out the upper right quadrant. Um, so all else being equal, I guess white... Oh, that's kind of aggressive. Okay. I attack your weak stone. And somehow end up making it stronger for having attacked it. Um, so now if he plays up there, I'm surrounding this single stone. Okay, that's interesting. Um, did I just connect down here? No, then he goes up there. So what am I doing? I don't know. I'm really confused. Just in case you guys couldn't figure that out already. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm going to kill these two stones, and it's going to cost me the entire right side of the board to do it. We're going to learn a lesson here today. And we're going to learn it the hard way. Um, if I place there, he surrounds me instantly. I am so confused. If I place there, he probably goes here. Uh, yeah, so I have to heal this, attack that. And that kind of strengthens my threats on the left side of the board. It's more fun to execute threats than to make threats. And so rarely against qualified opponents do I get to actually execute threats. So I'm a bit anxious and trigger happy on that. Um... Maybe if I just play more solidly, things will work out. Okay. I see that this is obviously intended. I don't want to spend time healing this, but I don't see an alternative. So, I'm just going to bunch up all my stones like this. Um, it looks terribly wasteful to do that sort of thing. Because I'm essentially giving my opponent a free hand to do whatever he wants. Um, such as that. Now if he goes there, he cuts my group. So I have to keep all these together. So now I've formed one group that spans the entire board. Um, he's got two groups. So, if I have any luck at all, I'll be able to kill all of his stones, but, or something like that. I don't expect to be so lucky. Um, wait, do I have any way of killing this? If I place there, he can extend one way, but not the other. We're gonna try this. So I'm threatening both here and there. Um, maybe? I don't know. It looks strong somehow. I'm not sure that I'm understanding it right. What I really want is to be able to just play down here and have him extend and then trap him. So I'm... I don't know. This might be throwing away a stone. 
Uh, it probably is. Yeah, because now if I go down there, he traps me. Wait, if I go here, he has to go there. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to surround this stuff down here. I don't think I'm going to be too successful with it. Yeah, I think I should play move one in the center. Wait, if I go here... He goes there and he escapes and kills my guy. Right? I go here, he goes there. I go here. Um, he's got way more liberties than I do. Like, it's not even close. Okay, so what if I go here instead? I don't think it matters. I think the key is that I have to just try to reduce his territory and see if I can claim all this space on the lower right. So now if I throw in, he captures me. Um... There's no point to throwing in, is there? When I could just do this perfectly healthy move instead. If I throw in, he takes me... I don't need to throw in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just take this corner. And hopefully I surround more territory than he does, and if I do so, I win. Um, interesting. Also, I've got a minute left, so I have to play much faster. Um, okay, take my stone. It's all yours. Go ahead. Now I'm going to get to practice killing groups. Um, I'm below a minute. Oh, he's going to score two points from capturing the two stones. So that... Oh, plus he's got Comey. So this actually isn't a close game. Unless I'm... Hmm, maybe these stones are dead, though. And maybe since they're dead, or if they're dead, uh, this might be a close game after all. Um... So he's got one, two, three liberties. I've got three liberties also, so I'm actually losing this race. Uh, unless I'm missing something. Oh wait, if he places... I can actually... wait, that doesn't make sense either, does it? Okay, so we start a co-fight. Oh, seriously? Oh my goodness. Well, that's no good.
So basically my only shot at winning this game is to win it on time. Uh, we'll see if I can succeed at that. Well, I'm doing pretty awfully at this game. I think my entire group is dead. Yep. Oh no. White one on time. That was close. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That was exciting. Okay. Like I said, I am the target demographic of this game. Uh, people who want to have some fun playing Go and maybe learn a thing or two. Um, I think I'm just getting my rear end handed to me, though, because he's outreading me every step of the way. Like, it's not even close. At least now I understand that and that whole time pressure mechanic, you can't just push like you can in a chess game. Uh, this actually seems to have like a one second increment or something reasonable. So you don't just win by winning on time. Um, Alright, let's play against the computer. Wait, do I have an online game? Okay, whatever. Um... Let's play the computer. Uh, easy 9x9 nine nine game. Well, I seem to have crushed the computer's hopes, dreams, and spirits. Victory is mine. Apparently. Oh, it moved. Never mind. False alarm. Okay, so I create a wall, I extend my wall, oh man, look at my wall, oh that's not going to do, okay, I continue my wall, alright, there's my wall. Is it not beautiful? I might have some chance of beating the computer. Um, there we go. Um, sure, let's surround that. Surround this. Oh, hang on. I could maybe try to surround these guys as well. Okay, I'm beating a computer, guys. What would AlphaGo do? Alright, so I have to surround this. Um, white passes. Okay, I kill the white stone. I kill the white stone. White passes. I pass. Black wins by 20. Or 19 and a half. Okay, let's try the computer. Uh, a little bit more challenging uh, difficulty. And start playing all the cowardly moves. Gotta break them out. Okay. Um, so I make a wall. I kill you there. Wait, what? What's that? Am I getting surrounded? Okay. 
It's possible this medium level computer might not muster much strength. I don't know. Um, kill you there. Kill you there. Surround you here. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't see these fairly obvious things. Um, okay. So, it doesn't behoove me to fill in my own territory. And I don't think I can kill this white group either, so it makes sense for me to pass. And I win. Cool. Alright, let's play the computer again. Apparently I get black again. So I guess that means I'm the weaker player. Uh, I guess I'll just have to get used to that. Uh, am I getting surrounded? I don't like that. I kill you. I'm still not getting surrounded here. I kill you here. And there. And here. Oh, I can't place, I can't capture right back. Okay, that's interesting. Um, oh my goodness. Wow, I'm bad. <laughs> Alright, so we'll kill this eventually. We'll get around to killing it. First we gotta take care of that. Kill you here. Um, oh, can I not kill that? No, I can. Alright. And now we kill that group. And that. And now I think I pass. No, I have to kill this. It doesn't behoove me to take any more territory there. I've actually reduced my own territory by placing here, but it means the game end comes faster. Okay. Apparently the computer can't pass. So it's kind of forced to fill in its own territory, which is pretty weird. Alright, let's try one more against the computer. Again, on the 9x9 board. Um... If this goes well, maybe I'm going to level up and play against a more challenging computer. Um, yeah, this one looks like it's going pretty well. Okay. Build a wall. Keep building a wall. Oh. Wait, can I not kill all your stuff? Pretty sure I get to kill your stuff. There's a bent four in a corner. Which you see in all these uh, Sumego problems. Um, yeah, white's not going to get to live there either. Oh my goodness. I'm terrible at this. White could have placed here and saved himself. Um, you know, White's not living in that space. That's a really optimistic move to play over here. Uh, take the other contested point. I suppose I didn't see that this particular stone was weak, and so White probably could have killed something on my half. Um, yep, so white places, and now I get to kill the whole white group, and we surround this, K 
killed the white stone. We have to kill everything for the game to know that we won. Okay. So, apparently I can take on medium. We're going to try hard next, and I'm fully expecting it's going to kick my butt. Um, I build a wall. Alright. That's definitely a wall. Is it good enough? I don't know. Now we get to practice killing things. Um, white's filling in its own territory just to make things exciting. White passes. Okay, now here I think ordinary scoring would just say that black um, wins because these three stones are dead. Um, but in this particular version of the game, I'm forced to kill white's stones for this to count. And now I can pass. Oh, and white wins by three and a half. So I didn't cover Comey. Interesting. I, so I captured three stones. Wait, how did that score again? Opponent passed five times. I performed three captures. Okay. Oh, so the three captures I made made up for the territory deficit. Um, wait, how, how does this work? Yeah, I scored 30. It scored 33 and a half because it controls more territory. How, I guess my shape is just really inefficient. That's amazing. Um, so even after killing three stones, well, I mean, killing the three doesn't matter. That doesn't affect the score at all. But just my overall shape here. One, two, you look at this. I mean, it sure looked like I was cutting through here. But what's behind that, um, somehow these three files and two squares don't count up to these three files What's these two? Interesting. I have no idea how that happened. We're gonna try that again. Alright, I take the center and uh Okay. Crap. Um, this is not going well. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my goodness, I'm getting killed everywhere. I give up. Okay, we're going to try that again. And not play so ridiculously aggressive this time. So I'm just going to stay a reasonable, safe distance from the opponent and only approach when it seems safe to approach. And hopefully not overpress like I overpressed um, while you saw it. Um... Oh, really? Have I ended up on the worst side of this again? I don't understand. Ooh. 
White wins by 13. Okay, so White played more aggressively throughout and just made really good use of his stones. And I don't know what I'm missing here. Other than I'm just playing against a difficult opponent. Um, I'm confused. Why can't I just, like, do this? Why doesn't this win? Does this not win? How much territory do I have to cover to cover seven and a half points, Comey? I... Oh, I get killed there. Ah, oh, that's interesting. It puts the highlight marker there to let me know that I'm about to die. That's so kind of it. Um. Hmm. If I place here, he goes there. Um. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is lost. I... T goes hard. Why does it go so hard? Okay. I think at this point I'm supposed to pass. I know white can play there and cut me. And I don't think it matters, because I think... Yeah, no, I kill white very quickly if he tries to cut me. Like, he places there, I place here. Places here, I kill the white stone. So I'm safe. But on the other hand, uh, the territory count... Oh wow, this game is closer than I thought. Uh, of course I'm not beating the computer, because it's playing on hard difficulty. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm surprised I held so well. So, yeah, we pass. It passes. Well, now it reduces my territory score to two. I'm not sure what you're asking about. If you could enlighten me, that would be great. So, I mean, yeah, we're still at a score of 30 to 30 and a half. I have no chance of surrounding White's stones, and he has no chance of surrounding mine. So I pass, and White wins by one and a half. Alright, let's go back to online play. Um, yeah, sure, five minute game. I get to take White. White does not go first in this game, believe it or not. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. I attack you. For no reason, I guess. Uh, it's an interesting way to surround territory. I don't understand this at all. That's pretty cool. These stones that are a space apart um, do operate really effectively. Uh, they're difficult to surround is the point. Okay. So, if I just take this tact, I should not get surrounded like I've gotten surrounded the last few games. Um, I can't exactly push through here, can I? And of course, he just seals it there. Um, okay, well, what the heck? Let's find out what happens. Oh, I saw that, and I'm being dumb. Okay. Maybe there's some tactic to justify it. Probably not. 
Oh, uh, and I just walked into another attack. Um, so that's super great. Okay, well, at this point, I'm fully committed to the attack because if this attack fails, I'm screwed. Um, such as life on a 9x9 board. Okay. I don't understand that either. Unless he's trying to surround this. Ah, I'm forced to attack. And so I attack. But, yeah, I'm surely getting killed here in the most horrifying, abysmal, sort of grueling manner. There's, um, 